Thank you for tuning in to another episode of InRange. This is sort of an impromptu Old West vignette, but it's a really interesting one. I'm standing here in Walsenburg, Colorado, in front of 327th Street. And this house is actually interesting and prominent, even though it's now a State Farm real estate agent. Um, this house was originally owned or lived in at one point by a man named Robert Ford. And if that name doesn't ring a bell, it should. He was actually the assassin of Jesse James. Robert Ford was a member of the James gang and was part of that criminal enterprise, but was tired of the criminal life and heard that there was a hefty reward for the capture or death of Jesse James and decided this was his way out. April of 1882, Robert Ford had actually had breakfast with Jesse and was acting as still being his friend, and Jesse was looking up at the wall and saw that there was a painting on the wall that needed some dusting. Jesse sat up on a chair, stood up on the chair and started to dust that actual picture, and Robert Ford thought this was his chance. He pulled his pistol and shot Jesse James in the back of the head, killing him immediately. Turned out this wasn't that popular a thing. Robert Ford immediately reported himself to the authorities and said, I just killed Jesse James, I'd like my reward, and they indicted him and sentenced him to hang. However, seven days later, he was pardoned. But Jesse James was a folk hero. Rightly or wrongly, a lot of people saw Jesse James as a guy that was continuing the Confederate cause and was waging a war against northern banking interests. In truth, Jesse James was nothing more than a criminal, killing people and garnering money and profit for himself in the process. However, that's not necessarily how society saw that, and Robert Ford was seen as a coward for murdering him by shooting him in the back of the head defenselessly. Robert Ford, for the next 10 years, really didn't know what to do with himself, and he wandered through the West, mostly in Colorado, sometimes reenacting the murder for money and profit, or opening up gambling halls and saloons as a way to keep his living. However, in the process of doing that, Robert Ford found that many times people decided to come in there and challenge him for, uh, to essentially garner retribution for the murder of Jesse James. And through those 10 years, he had to defend himself a number of times and almost didn't make it. However, in 1892, he didn't make it. And a man came into a saloon with a shotgun and blasted him at point blank range, killing Robert Ford and avenging the death of Jesse James. In fact, people at that time referred to him as the coward Robert Ford. The man that killed Robert Ford was immediately charged with murder. However, 7,000 people signed a petition to let him go and he was let off scot-free for the murder of Robert Ford standing in his own saloon. However, it's interesting, this was not the house that he lived in at the time he was murdered. He was living in a different part of Colorado. However, he wandered and was just trying to find a place for himself, and the killing of Jesse James wasn't a popular thing. And I thought this was a good opportunity to bring to you a story of revenge, blood, and retribution, and how things in the Old West that are sometimes glorified really aren't that glorious. And killing Jesse James did not work out all that well for Robert Ford. Guys, thank you for tuning in to another episode of InRange. If you like this stuff, please consider supporting us on Patreon. It is you, the viewer, the only, only you, the viewer, that keep InRange alive. It makes it impossible for me to be in a place like this to film in front of Robert Ford's house. If you can't, we understand. Just subscribe and share with your friends. And thanks for watching.